What's up, everybody? This is Brian. And I'm Logan. And this is Tops. This is Top. And this is Bottoms. And this is Triple. It's Top. Avocado. Oh my god. Blue eyes. Wow. It's been a while. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, we're finally back. It's blue eyes there, baby. Let's wow. go. Wow. And we're fresh cards. Hi, team. Happy Friday, my very friendly dragons. I know it's VFT, but we're not playing VFT debate, baby. We're playing blue eyes. So it has been a very, very long time since we have updated our Blue Eyes or our Chaos Max deck, and then with the release of Legendary Duelist Season 2, with all the Blue Eyes support and obviously some really new cool upgrades when it comes to some of the Blue Eyes support cards, this is one of our favorite decks, so we decided we were going to update Blue Eyes Chaos Max. Now, we did ask you guys on the community page which version you wanted to see, whether it was just the pure Chaos Max build or the Drytron version. But Chaos Max won by an almost unanimous vote, but if you would like to see the Drytron version next week, feel free to let us know in the comments because because we do kind of want to put it up just for funsies. So Chaos Max and regular Blue Eyes have always been known as one of those fan favorite decks. It can be casual, it can be competitive, it can be cheap, it can be expensive. So we tried to go all of those routes. With that being said, Blue Eyes is an as you make it kind of deck. You can make it expensive, you can keep it cheap, you can really build this deck as versatile as you want it to be. So take our build with a grain of salt. If your deck is different, that's totally fine. If our deck isn't something you like, that's also totally fine. If you love it, that's awesome. I hope you leave a like, and I hope you leave a like if you don't like it because I worked really hard on it. Also, this has no relevance to Blue Eyes at all whatsoever but my birthday is tomorrow so feel free to wish me a happy birthday in the comments and let me know when your birthday is and also if you're in the discord you can put your birthday in the birthday bot so we can all celebrate birthdays together wow so with all that being said before we get into this deck profile if you guys are not already a subscriber feel free to go down hit that subscribe button throw this video a like and let us know in the comment section down below which version of blue eyes you are trying to play at the moment we also have an instagram with that crush cards ygo feel free to come give us a follow and say hi if you want to interact with us a little bit more we also have a super wholesome discord community it's absolutely bop we're almost at 18 100 members in the discord feel free to go be that 1800 person so i can give you a big old virtual hug and then last but not least if you want to further support the channel we have a patreon february is coming up bloopers are going up the side deck for this deck will be up on patreon either today or tomorrow so if you want the secret spice guess what you got to go to patreon but if not that's okay i'm just happy you're here to go through this beautiful legacy deck with us all right let's get into this deck profile wait lightning attack so starting out the deck, this obviously wouldn't be a Blue Eyes Chaos Max deck if we were not playing triple copies of Blue Eyes Chaos Max. This card is just like the big boss daddy of the deck. It's a 4k beater. You can obviously ritual summon this card with Chaos Form, and it must be ritual summoned. It cannot be special summoned any other way. It's also good to know that it can't be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. That's pretty rad. And if it attacks a defense position monster, which, you know, we'll be mentioning later, it inflicts double piercing battle damage. So it's really easy to attack for game if you're playing the right strategy. So for any of you guys who may not be familiar with that if you attack a zero defense position monster this is 4k double piercing is four times two which is eight <gasps> For game. Oh my god, Matt. Wow. Matt Yu-Gi-Oh. These, like, these came out not in the most recent set, but the Secret Rare Chaos Max, he looks pretty great. He <laughs> looks pretty cute. And then we're playing three OG Brick Blue Eyes because obviously it's a Brick Fest in this deck, but we do need it for some of our cards like Dragon Shrine and just, you know, ritual summoning things. This card is probably one of the biggest bricks in the entire deck, if not the entire game, but you do, as Logan said, want to play it at three because you need to see at least one to two copies of this card. And these are our two Blue Eyes support spots in the deck. We have one Alternative and one White Stone of Legend. Alternative honestly isn't that good because you're not trying to summon Alternative or really have a Blue Eyes in hand all the time. This card's really only good because because it pops a card on the field, it's good for rank eight plays, it's good for late in the game plays. It's not like a card we're trying to summon out immediately, but it's good if you need it in a certain situation. And then we're playing the one regular white stone of legend, not the splody stony, just the regular stony. And he says, if this card is sent to the graveyard, add a blue eyes white dragon from your deck to your hand. It's good to note that this is just if it's sent to the graveyard. It doesn't have to be from the field, it can be from the hand, from the deck, and it also is not a hard ones per turn. Speaking of if effects, feel free to go watch episode two of Yu-Gi Pros, where we're talking about missing timing and effects, and then feel free to also go watch episode episode three of Yu-Gi Pros where we actually talk about the battle phase. It's our new series where we basically talk about tips to help you become a better player and help us become better players as well. It's a really fun interactive series that we just started. Feel free to go give it some love. That's it. That's all these two cards do. They don't really do a whole lot. And then onto our ritual support, we are playing triple copies of our Incantation Talismandra and triple copies of our Incantation Candall. These cards are very good for any ritual deck, but they're especially good in this deck because both of these have zero defense. Incantation Candall and Incantation Talismandra both have similar effects. Talismandra is the monster effect and then Candall is the spell effect. So how these work is Incantation Candall will reveal itself and a ritual spell in your hand, special summon itself, and then special summon Talismandra, and then same with Talismandra, but Talismandra 
Mandra reveals itself and then a ritual monster and then special summons Kandal. And then because they have the same additional effects, when this one is special summoned, you add a ritual monster. And then when this one is special summoned, you add a ritual spell. So this basically gets you this and the missing piece and vice versa. And then the spice in the deck, we are playing triple copies of our normal summon, AKA Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. This card is absolutely fantastic in the deck because you can normal summon it and then just link it away with our Almirage. So this card is especially good because if this card in its owner's control is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card to your opponent's field in defense position. So you're normaling it, linking it away, and then activating the effect, specialing it, and giving it to your opponent in defense. And then Chaos Max does double piercing. So you're literally just gonna punch into your own dude that you gave your opponent for 8k and that's the end of the game it's also good to note that this card is somewhat like a floodgate type effect because the owner of this card cannot special summon monsters except for link monsters so when your opponent has this card face up on the field they can't special summon except for link monsters which is kind of cool because like some decks in the metagame right now aren't even playing link monsters and it's really good because if you give this to your opponent chaos max is typically your fifth summon so they cannot nibiru you and then to search our ibli we are playing triple copies of Synap mining this is literally just to search ibli this card sends any card from your hand to the graveyard so you can get some of your bricks out of your hand and it just searches your win condition. Yeah, so if you have blue eyes in your hand, you can just dump blue eyes off of this and get it blue. And now we're playing triple of the brand new and improved Secret Rare Bingo Machine Go, fresh out of the Legendary Duel Season 2 set. This is a beautiful card, but not only is it beautiful, it's really darn good. You reveal three cards from your tech that meet at least one of the criteria listed below and your opponent randomly picks one for you to add to your hand and you shuffle the rest into your deck. And then cards that you can reveal to add are either a blue eyes monster or a spell trap that specifically lists blue eyes white dragon or blue eyes ultimate dragon except bingo machine go so this literally just helps you search anything this card's really cute this is it's probably like, one of my favorite cards in the entire game it's got like a little ultimate dragon on it but he's like like a little machine playing bingo i think it's great this card's awesome yeah it's probably one of my favorite arts in the game to it be so, honest. and it's like it's secret right now oh and then just for more consistency cards we are playing triple copies of pot of extravagance this is almost a mandatory card in the deck if you cannot afford pot of extravagance a good budget alternative would be something like pot of desires or maybe even trade in but just keep in mind that these are not not as consistent as extravagance. Extravagance literally just has banished cards you don't need to draw two. Yeah, this deck isn't really focusing on the extra deck at all. We're literally trying to one punch with Chaos Max. We do not care about the extra deck. Like, cool, it's utility stuff, but like, we don't care. And then moving off into the ritual stuff, we're playing what I think is arguably the better ritual card between the six that we're playing. This is Advanced Ritual War. This card can be used to ritual summon any one ritual monster. You must also send normal monsters from your deck to the graveyard whose total levels equal the level of that ritual monster. Wow, you send blue eyes. Yeah. Chaos Max. It's super Bam. free. It's very simple. In our opinion, the reason that this card is better than the actual Chaos Form is because this just foolishes the material, whereas Chaos Form, you have to have blue eyes in your hand already. Or grave. Speaking of Chaos Form, we're playing three Chaos Form because we are playing cards that help us dump Bloopy into the grave, so it's really not a huge deal. It's just a matter of consistency. Playing six ritual cards is just nice. Chaos Form says this card can be used to ritual summon any Chaos or Blackluster Soldier ritual monster. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field and or banish a Blue Eyes White Dragon or Dark Magician from your graveyard whose totals level equal blah 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 you're banishing a blue eyes from your graveyard or you're using field or hand or whatever which is really good because this card says blue eyes white dragon in the card text therefore you can search this off bingo machine go bingo 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 speaking of getting cards in the graveyard we are playing double copies of dragon shrine this is really really easy for you to get not only a blue eyes into your graveyard but because you could send one dragon monster from your deck to your graveyard then if it was a normal monster you can send an additional dragon monster you can send your white stone of legends and wow. then search a blue eyes as well so this card is just like plus two yeah it's a great card and it just makes chaos form live if you like open up a chaos form and not advanced ritual art. you know it just it makes plays more live than they would be in this brick fest of a deck consistency we're also playing speaking of consistent we're playing one first dead one unlimited because because this deck is not consistent at all and it's all a big <laughs> ironic mess and then we are playing two creature swap just to help us win condition a little bit more you know if you don't have ibli or for whatever reason this is for your incantations so the incantations as we said are zero attack and defense so you creature swap do 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 and then attack into the incantation and then they're dead it's that easy folks you just want to have as many win conditions as possible in case you didn't know this is a going second deck so this will be this will be good and then because this is a going second deck, we are playing our three going second cards, which is three Forbidden Droplet and one Mind Control because this is a sack you want of and this card is really darn good. If you don't have copies of Forbidden Droplets or you need just a budget alternative, something like Infinite Impermanence or even maybe like a Kaiju just to get rid of that problematic monster on your opponent's field is also very doable. Mm -hmm. 
Forbidden Droplet is amazing, obviously, because it is a quick play spell where you send any number of cards from your hand and or field to the graveyard, choose that many effect monsters your opponent controls, and until the end of this turn, their attack is halved, which is great. Also, their effects are negated, so this shuts off Dragoon, this stops a lot of cards that can't be targeted, etc. In response to this card's activation, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects of cards with the same original type monster spell or trap as the cards sent to the graveyard to activate this card. So, I mean, obviously, Droplet is a phenomenal card. It's really good. And then Mind Control, obviously, just like for cards that can be targeted, you just take them and get rid of them so you can one punch your opponent ASAP. Believe it or not, this is a 40 card deck. I think we always put up 41 card decks. This is 40, so like crazy. Moving on to the extra deck. This is gonna be super short and sweet because we're playing Extrav, so we are on an Extrav package of triple copies of Almirage. Oh, nothing matters. This is for your Ibli. You literally normal summon Ibli, link Ibli way, give yourself an Almirage, and then give your opponent the Ibli, and that's that's all she wrote, folks. Amen. Done. And then we are playing the one copy of White Stone of Legends, so we are playing double copies of Link Kribo because, you know, extravagance. Just in case. You know, you never know. You might need it. And this never comes up, but just in case, you can do double piercing, so we are playing double copies of Pentastag as well. And then utility cards, we are just playing the Nightmare Package. Once again, you don't really go into any of these. If you need them, it's also very hard to get to them because it is good to note that the Incantation Monsters lock you out of your extra deck. But they don't lock me out of having nightmares every night because the terrors never end, but the night is long. And then for our Xyz package, we are playing double copies of Hope Harbinger, double copies of Dengirsu, and then the one copy of Divine Arsenal AA Zeus. Hell yeah, Thunder Sky Daddy, come at me. These are really just like follow-up plays if you need them. This is anti-spell. This is just getting rid of monsters that have targeting protection or just any card on the field that you need to get rid of. And this is just a lot of pressure. Let's move on to a test hand and just showcase what this deck is capable of. Let's hope for the best. We're not building a house today, no siree. All right, we are just going to shuffle real quick and just hopefully demonstrate what this deck can do. We tried to build this to be as consistent as possible without including the Drytron engine. For what it's worth, the Drytron engine is definitely more competitive, probably a little bit more consistent, and does stand a higher chance against winning in the metagame. But for any of you guys out there who are interested in that, as Logan said, feel free to comment down in the comment section down below and we'll hopefully showcase that next week. So we're gonna do a couple of these and uh, see if our opponent wants to cut. Okay. Here I am. No bricks. Only mansions that aren't made of bricks. All right. So this deck does go second. So we'll start off with our Talismandra, which is the, the monster. monster. The spell All card, right. which is Kandal. Our nice. nice Ibli. We have a Synap Mining, a Blue Woo! Eyes, Chaos Max, and then our next card will be a Dragon Shrine. Hot snap. We're going second full combo team. And we got bait. So that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna activate Dragon Shrine. Oh my God, we ate an ash. Oh, whatever will oh we do? Oh God, what do we do? Oh, I think we're gonna normal summon our Ibli now. There it is. Uh, any response? No, okay, bye. Dun, 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 dun. We'll link into our El Mirage, and then we will trigger the Ibli, giving it to our opponent. We're just we're just gonna put her right there. She's, ah, she's sucker. perfect. Sucker. She's perfect and beautiful. Make sure you watch the World Legacy lore. We love her. All right, so now we're gonna activate the Monster Guy, which is this one. We're gonna reveal our Chaos Max to our opponent, which will then special summon our Incantation Talismandra, and then this will activate. Special summoning our Incantation Candal, and then Candal adds Advanced Ritual Art. We'll just do a couple some of these real quick. And then now we can just activate the art to special summon our Chaos Max. Yeehaw. Sending blue eyes from our deck to our graveyard off of our advanced ritual art. And now we will just proceed to the battle phase. Amazing. This seems to look really good. Uh, Chaos Max for game. Ah, oh, look how simple that is. Isn't that amazing? You didn't have to combo for 10 minutes. Deck's nice. Reminds me of the good old days. Yeah, this deck really just kind of wants to play with itself. Your opponent obviously will probably have some interaction, which is why you do want to play some more consistency cards like we did with Dragon Shrine because it can eat a negate and still play. But it is also good to note that this is not a tier one deck, so do not expect to take this to any like YCS and top with it. Yeah, I'm not saying go against Drytron Virtual World all day and expect to go like XO with this. We're trying to be rational here, people. This is still a blue eyes deck, but we are saying this is a really good consistent build. But for what it's worth, this is an FDK against Virtual World because they don't play Link Monsters, so yeah. you just go first and <laughs> give them this. They just die. <laughs> 
Yeah, that Volkswagen's not going anywhere with Ibley on the field, I'm sorry. But yeah, again, we wanted to go with a more pure chaos max build just because it's really simple, it's really nice, it's super fast in the way that it can just OTK and like it doesn't have any complexities to it. It's just straightforward, it does the thing, and it wins. But again, this is just the one of many Blue Eyes builds you can build. You obviously probably have your own way, everyone has their own way. This is one of the wonderful things about Blue Eyes Dark Magician and all those legacy decks. You can literally build them however you want. But if you do want to see the Drytron version, feel free to let us know. As always, let us know how you feel about this build and what you're playing. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell because you know that makes you part of the Cool Kid Club and I love you very much. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. We love you, you matter, and we will see you Monday for a very special premiere Dragon Shield opening. Oh yeah, baby, we got some stuff that you've never seen before and that we've never seen before. And also Blazing Vortex sneak peek premiere tomorrow too. That's cool, I guess. Also, it's my birthday tomorrow. Wish me happy birthday. Okay, boys, we love you, you matter. Again, I can't remember if I said it. All right, boys, say bye. Bye, bye. Have a great day. I just want you to yeah. know that you're like super max and stuff. I think you're cute. Wow. Okay, ready? Tent.